What's up guys, my name is God Cyndaquil and I hope that you enjoyed that intro, it probably won't be coming back for a while. Now, this is the first commentary on my channel and hopefully I'm going to teach you how to create a task. Now, before we start up this video, you need to know what task stands for, it means tool assisted speedrun or super play. Well, now you might be thinking to yourself, well, what's a super play though? Basically what it means in terms of Super Smash Bros. Melee is that you're going to be eliminating all four stocks in the quickest way possible. Now that you know what it means, you're going to need the tools that are necessary to create a task. Tool number one, Dolphin.exe. It's a GameCube emulator that you can use to run Melee. Second, of course, Melee. You see, I can support a link for Dolphin, but I can't with Melee. So, what I recommend doing is going on Google and using that. It's your best friend to find an ISO. Now that you have Melee and Dolphin set up, you're going to want to start messing with your settings. Step one, we're going to go into graphics. See where it says aspect ratio? You're going to want a 4.16.9. This will give you a nice widescreen effect so when you post to YouTube, there will be no black bars. After you do this, we're going to start setting up your hotkeys. Click on options hotkey settings and after that you're gonna have all this and you're gonna be like well now what well all that we ne really need here are the load states the save states and the frame advance now you can map these to whatever you want they'll be coming in handy later I'll tell you about it when we have to use it okay so now you have all your hotkeys set up what you're gonna want to do now is close out of here select movie and task input so now you look at this and you think to yourself, well, what is this? This is, this is awkward. Basically, it's a GameCube controller. This is your left analog, your right analog, A, B, X, Y, so far and so forth. Now, what you can do with this is get precise movements. For wave dash, for example, you can get a long one, a short one, one in place, one backwards, anything that you could think of. When you have your task input set up, you're going to want to select the correct file of Melee. For this example, we're going to be using 20xx. After that, you're going to click Movie, Start Recording Input. It might take a while for Dolphin to load up, I'll see you guys when it does. Now that 20xx is loaded in, you can select a character by moving around the analog stick. But remember when I told you about those hotkeys coming in handy? Now they will. Click on your Frame Advanced Hotkey to stop the frames. Now, whenever you press your Frame Advanced button, one frame will go by every single time that you press it. What you're going to want to do now is select a character. I'm going to be using Captain Falcon just so I can show off a little bit of easy bait combos. For this example, we're going to be fighting against Fox because he's a fast faller and easy to combo. Now, usually I set my opponents to level 9, but since this is an example, it's only going to be level 1. Also, because this is an example, we're not going to have the stock on 4. Just 1. Alright, now you got your settings all ready to go. Selected your color, whatever you want to do. You're going to start pressing start. When your stage select screen comes on, Pick whatever stage you like. I'm going to use Fountain of Dreams because it'll probably be easiest to knock out Fox there. Now, when that gets loaded in, you're going to want to make sure that the ready bar goes all the way down to zero. And use one of your hotkeys for save state to save state. This little yellow box should pop up, meaning that you completed it. Now, when you, when you see the go... That basically means that you're free to do whatever you want. That's the soonest frame that you can move. Now, usually when I start playing, I like to do a wave dash forward or back. So we're going to press X and people will tell you now that you should find the frame that your character jumps on. But what I do is I angle the analog stick to where I want to go and I right click on the air dodge button. So. As soon as he leaves the ground, it'll automatically click it because it presses every other frame when you right click. Now you can see Falcon sliding forward. You're going to want to save another state, 
so you don't lose this one. After this, you're going to want to start showing them what you can do with the character. So you wave Tash down, and you wait for Fox to land. Now, while tassing, you're going to want to get the best results possible. So what we're going to do is dash dance behind Fox, and be sure to save the state, just in case if he decides to shine. Dash back forward, jump cancel, grab. As you can see, that we missed. So, what you're going to want to do is load up that save state that you got earlier, where we dash dance towards him, dash dance back, on a sooner frame, try to grab that. As you can see now, he runs away and jumps forward. So if we wanted to, we could jump, if we could wave dash back on an earlier frame and read his jump. So we'll save another state, short hop, and now he's gonna shield, so we have more options. We're gonna go for the down air, hit his shield, or not, we'll go back. Now, the thing is about 20XX, that the AI is a lot more clever, to put it simply. But, now his shield is up, and instead of going for the down air, we're going to try to grab him. So, jump cancel grab, and we got him. Save that state. Now that you have Fox in your grab, you have to think, well, what's going to be the best optimal combo out of this grab? Now with Falcon, he has a lot of things that he can do out of his down throw. So we'll point the right analog stick down and he'll do his down throw animation. Now when it comes to using your analog stick, you can't turbo mode the button like we did earlier with the wave dash. Instead, we have to wait for Falcon to get to his idle position. Once he gets there, save another state and be ready for the follow up. Now, I don't think that we can get to Fox on any frame, as no matter how hard we try. So, what we're going to do is hope that he misses the tech and go for a down air. So, we run in, short hop, he missed, down air, and it connects. Now, save another state that you got this hit confirmed. And we can fast fall, or no, we can't. So, he's going to land on the platform instead, so we'll go back to that save state and start up an L cancel. So we got it here, and Fox texts and rolls right. Now that we know where he's going to end up being, we need to figure out how are we going to punish him. Now, we'll just start by dashing right at him, and wave dashing towards him. Now, be sure to save a state right before you do hit the ground, because if you miss, you're just going to end up staying there. So we'll do it right about now and confirm the wave dash. Save another state just in case he decides to jab. And he doesn't. Okay. We'll save one more now that Falcon's in an idle position. And get shined. So we'll go back to that other save state. And we'll try to power shield it instead. Now, I don't think that it's possible to get a power shield here. Because Fox's shine comes out so fast. And we aren't ready to block it. So we'll go back again to this frame and wave dash towards him and see if we can get it any sooner. As you can see that time, we did. So we'll go back and we'll try to we'll try that one again. So we wave dash down, save a state, and then you see what he does. Now he's gonna dash forward, but we get the grab anyways. So we'll try to switch it up a little bit now we'll up throw instead and try to get the follow-up now see where he's DIing, and i think off of here we might be able to get a chain grab so let's just hope oh uh, no he fell too fast so we'll go back to where we were and read the tech so he's gonna roll in So we're going to grab, or I guess Nair works too, we'll get the second hit of Nair, never mind. Okay, I think that we'll be able to get it if we go earlier, so let's try that one more time. He texts in, he saves the state, 
jump cancel grab and we got him now what we can do off of here is try another down throw I guess because what else are you going to do off a of grab save state and now we'll see if Fox lands on the platform or not okay he doesn't and he misses the tech there too so we'll load that state back up and we'll dash in and we'll hook him up with a dash attack because I don't know oh well if we attack if we send out a hitbox, he techs, but if we don't, he'll hit the floor. So we're going to just let him hit the floor and not send out any attacks. Okay, never mind. So obviously my expertise on the AI is not that great, but instead we'll just punish him for doing that. Save his state and get the punish. So. When I usually task, I like to do things that mix everything up, get everything else in there. So it's a little bit more original every time I do something. So this time we're gonna forward through throw instead and go in for the dare to just get a quick gim. Now, when tasking, I recommend that you that you know a little bit about melee. So instead of going in with no melee knowledge you should probably study up a little bit so you know for example how to wave dash and how to moonwalk so when you just go in you know what you're doing a little bit more now let's just get a quick dare fastball it should hit all right cool that should be the game unless he cancels it all right, awesome. So now that we've beaten Fox, we just wait for this game screen to be over and exit out of the task. Now there's going to be a prompt that asks you to save it. For this example, we're going to have a Captain Falcon task. Let's see. The window will close out. Then you're going to go over to movie and click play input recording. You're going to find the Captain Falcon task and double click it. Now Dolphin should load back, load back up that task and play back the input. As you can see, just load it in. And this is the part where I was talking to you guys, showing off how the controls work. And Hopefully, we won't get a desync. All right, so now I've selected Captain Falcon and we've gone to Fox, switched to one stop, and went to Fountain of Dreams. Ready, go, and let's see. As you can see, there's a pretty bad desync there. So, normally, it won't have happened like that. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. Now, this is why I don't usually task on the new 20XX, because desyncs are more common. So, what I recommend doing is finding an earlier version of 20XX and tasking on that. So if you're going to have mods, I recommend having a modded melee ISO. This is the one that I use for all of my what if tasks. And if we go to a movie, play input rep recording, go to Smash 4 Mario, hopefully it won't desync because I already put it on YouTube and I know what happens. So Dolphin loads up and you'll see this time on the character select screen that it goes a lot faster, mainly because I wasn't trying to talk through it so as you can see it's going through smoothly just like that first stock's over that's how fast ours would have been if it didn't desync just to get a loose idea of it so we'll just exit out of that and to put it onto youtube it's a little bit 
more difficult. What you're gonna do is dump frames, dump audio, and then play input. Go to whichever one you want. Let it load in, and you'll see this time that it won't be loading as fast. As you can see, it's not going 60 frames anymore. It's going more 40, 50, back down to 40, 30. So it'll be all skippy. That just is because um, Dolphin is trying to dump all of the frames and capture them all, put it into one file. So you're just going to want to let this all play out, let it do its thing, get desynced. So you go to your documents. Dolphin emulator, dump, and frames will be your dump. Now, this is only the frames, so there won't be any audio at this point. But all that you're going to want to do is open up your editing software. For my sake, it's Windows Movie Maker. And drag into there. Now, you're going to want to do the same thing with your audio. I'm not trying to edit a whole video here, but you just match it up with your audio, save the movie, and then upload it to YouTube. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that video. It was pretty weird for me because there wasn't any script. Also there's going to be a whole bunch of cuts because I had to take them all over again. Improving for me, isn't the easiest thing. Um, yeah, so I don't really know how to do an outro. I'm just going to end the video right now. All the links are going to be in the description for the music and everything that I use. Also, Dolphin, like I said earlier, use Google to find Smash. Alright guys, I'll talk to you later. Peace.